Hey guys, this is The Fine Nerd and joining me now is Jimmy L. Terror Rivera. Jimmy, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Doing pretty good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I just messed up my first line. You can tell it's a little early today. We're here at the Moosh MMA for the Bellator Press Workout. Uh, and Jimmy, you actually just got back recently from defending your King of the Cage title over uh, at, what was the event called? It was, um, Empire it was called Empire in uh, California. So you just fought Jared Posey, is that right? Yep. And you won by a decision. Yeah, no, I have a decision. He was a uh, you know, really tough competitor, went all five rounds, a really good fight. Were you surprised that he actually went all five rounds? Um, I wasn't surprised. I trained for it for five rounds because I knew he was a really tough kid watching his fights. Um, I threw my hands and I just, you know, I, I couldn't get that knockout, so I just kept pushing the pace and tearing apart piece by piece. And the good news is you're actually going to be fighting Abel Cullen, the guy that you beat Kyle originally for back in Connecticut in, I think it was uh, September or October. Yeah. You're going to be facing him getting out in New Mexico, where it is. Uh, is there an official date for that? Uh, I believe I think it's uh, May 14th or something like that. Middle of May. Middle, Middle of May. Basically, yeah. And you're going to be fighting on, on uh, his home turf, right? Yeah, it's his home turf, so it should be a little interesting. I know I'm not going to be the you know, crowd's favorite, but I already fought in California, and, and that was Jared's hometown and his favorite. So you know what? It doesn't matter. It is what it is, and it doesn't bother me. I just want to go in there and fight. When it comes down to it, it's just me and him in the cage, no one else. Now, if you guys haven't seen this, by the way, that, that was basically fight of the year, more or less, for our, our entire tri area, I would say, or East Coast area. That was an amazing fight. Uh, went all five rounds. I mean, talk of that fight, man. That was crazy. Yeah, Abel, Abel, that was a really good fight. He's a really tough competitor. Uh, I know, I saw an interview after him. He said he underestimated a little bit. Uh, and uh, that he thought I was going to go down the ground with him, but I stood up with him the whole time and caught my points and my takedowns to the end. Um, it was a close fight, but this this next one, I'm not going to try to make it really close at all. I'm going to take it all the way, you know, I just say you knock out, choke out. But, you know, I'll be prepared to go the five rounds if it has to go because, you know, it's, you know, a lot of fighters, you know, just because you beat someone and you face them again, you're like, I'm going to estimate them, but I'm not. To be honest with you, I'm training harder than I did. Um, which my training camp now is great because all I'm doing now is focusing on training full time. I was working last time and training, but now there's no more work and I'm just, my working is training, so I'm really excited for the rematch with Abel. Full time fighter now. Yeah, it's awesome. That's the dream, right? Yeah. So, uh, how have you changed since last time you fought Abel? Um, I, uh, a lot, and cardio wise, my shape is great. Um, I've been working on my hands, my wrist. I've just been working on everything, just getting better at it and better at it. And I feel great actually with my cardio, my boxing, my kickboxing, my wrestling. Everything's coming up the part. Everything's coming up the level where it should be. So one day, you know, if I had the opportunity to go in the UFC and fight some great names like Dominic Cruz and George and all those guys, so you know, I'm shooting for that. Uh, right now, you know, just training right now, keeping up with it. Lyman's well, got a fight coming up. Nick Pace has got a fight. So we're all just training and keeping ourselves motivated. And you know what? This nothing comes down to. I love to train. So I, don't, I wake up in the morning. And I can't wait to hit the mat. Same here. Except the mat for me is my bed, and I'm just going to sleep. So. <laughs> all right. Anyway, now I just mentioned before that fight was like one of the fights of the year, if not the fight of the year in the area. How did you feel about your performance during that fight? Um, you know what? I wasn't happy with my performance. A lot of even like my performance with Jay, I wasn't happy. I wanted to be, you know, honestly, I wanted it either be a knockout or a submission. That's when I feel a little happy about my performance. There's some stuff that uh, I need to work on with my hands and a little wrestling, and so I'm just been chopping away at that, getting better at that. Um, there's some stuff with Abel Cullen that I know I caught him with a couple good shots, and I there's some opportunities I could finish them. I'm like slapping my face and hitting my head when I'm watching it on TV and just looking at it over and over again because you know. After my fights, I always watch my footage and see what's going on. And um, I wasn't happy with performance. I want a better performance, so I'm going to shoot for that this time around. So for knockout or submission, hopefully, too? Yeah. All right. Well, good luck, Jimmy. Thanks for your time today.